running towards the Randwick end of the Sydney Cricket Ground, and Andrew Farrah gets us underway. Coming down for Cogger to take it back. Trevor wearing the number six tonight. This is Brett Clark in number two. Reminding you, they played an eight-all draw in their first encounter this year. First Winfield Cup encounter. It's Craig Ellis. He's tackled just outside the 32 line. Feller. And already one can see an urgency in the Canterbury defence. They're hitting in twos and threes. There's uh, Derek Fox. An Englishman puts the kick in going down. Straight to Phil Sigsworth based just outside his 22. He's made a 10 metre run and he's met by the Magpies defence. In the centre of the ground. With Canterbury repeating guarding the Paddington end of the field. This is O'Brien. 1984 grand final hero for Canterbury. Billy Johnston, a little dummy out to the open side, and then they hit it back to the blind. And off comes the headgear, number 11, wearing it, Peter Kelly. And uh, the penalty goes to Canterbury Bankstown. And again, I've got to point out to you just how concentrated and severe this Canterbury defence is. West, with the ball, are not getting past the previous play the ball. And that's not... Uh, it's not a bad trick if you can keep it up, and Canterbury are certainly doing that in the opening minutes. Five gone now for Wests. Here comes the kick. Charge down, came off the back of Folks. It's play on. Oh, what a bounce for Folks! And Steve Folks goes in to score. Well, I outlined uh, the rule that covers the charge down yesterday. The ball rising off the boot of the kicker. It can be charged down with any part of the body. And this hit Steve Folks on the back. And then, of course, he pirouetted, got a tremendous bounce, and away goes the Canterbury number nine and the New South Wales second rower. Steve Folks scores the first try of the match. In many respects, this was a try that was a result of constant pressure. Canterbury had been applying all sorts of pressure to Western Suburbs. They couldn't get out of their own quarter. They tried to do that with a clearing kick. It wasn't a good one. Folks charged the down, picked it up, and, of course, he was fast enough to carry through and go over for the try. An easy one for Lamb. Flags up. Scoreline, Canterbury 6. West nil. Steve Mortimer. Terry Lamb. Steve Mortimer. Beautiful work. Gillespie. He gave a pass. He knew he made a mistake. He cleaned it up himself. And look at them. Look at them bouncing this ball around between them. It's the Peter Mortimer and his brother Chris. It's a forward pass. Barnes has called them back. Deserved a better result, really. And back at the cricket ground, the congratulations are being handed out to Rod Petherbridge. The scrum went down, West fed it. Petherbridge came in from fullback. He made the extra man, and that's as simple as it was. Making that extra man, he was able to run into an opening. He crossed the 32 and the 22 and was going into score. Clear of Sigsworth, the, the nearest chaser. Here he is head on, this big lump of a fellow, one of the form players all year long. And uh, Rod Petherbridge, the try scorer for Western Suburbs. One of the gambles, of course, you take in live television is taking a commercial, but it seemed a, a sweet and opportune time to take it. There it was on record, Rod Petherbridge scoring a try. A garbologist? <laughs> Done. Oh! Yes! Kelly! Yes! Peter Mortimer! Away now for Billy Johnston! It's a try! That's great, uh, great support rugby league by Canterbury Bankstown. Billy Johnston scores the try. This was simply a case of players taking it ahead, drawing the defence, committing the defence, looking for support that was ever present. Dunn and Kelly and Peter Mortimer and then Billy Johnston scoring a great rugby league try. Just outside the 22. Same tunnel. Lamb. Cogger realising that Canterbury are in... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're certainly in a ruthless mood. Oh, Sigsworth! Over the halfway, here's the support. Guess who? Barba, Terry Lamb, over the 22. Petherbridge chases Peter Mortimer. He's going in to score a Canterbury try and a beauty. Phil 
Paul Sexworth was the man who made the break. I think one of the features at the cricket ground tonight was uh, an appearance by the mean machine, uh, the swimming team, but I think we're watching the rugby league mean machine at the moment. This, well, uh, Steve Mortimer was faking for a penalty. Now, they've got a penalty, Canterbury. It was uh, a shepherd on Western Suburbs. Mortimer kicked. Freeman became an obstruction. And Mortimer appealed for the penalty. Um, there's the obstruction for Shepard. And while Steve Mortimer was complaining to the referee for not getting a penalty for being knocked over late, they picked up a penalty anyway a little bit further down the ground. So Steve dropped off his complaint. <laughs> As uh, Canterbury take the tap. A long ball from Billy Johnston. So too from Steve Mortimer and Terry Lamb. It's come down off the shoulder to Andrew Farrer. Langmack, Langmack, 10 metre line, put down by Terry Lamb. Play by Petherbridge. Crooks, Dunn and Chris Mortimer making the tackle. Well, I'm almost getting a sore neck from having it, uh, having it on this angle, watching, West, watching Western Suburbs trying to get the ball up out of their own area and Canterbury put Drummond's it. put it down, O'Brien will score. O'Brien scores for Canterbury after Drummond, who's having... Oh, he's having an unhappy visit to the Sydney cricket ground. That's the kindest I can be. They're fourth. Lamb's kick, he just stabbed it, and he got it. 26 points to four. Kelly and Folks making the tackle there. Bilberger. Back to Fowler. Petherbridge. Taken by Farrah. Cogger, Fox, Williams. Long pass put down by Henderson, picked up by Lamb. Tackled by Schubert. Sigsworth. Ah, oh, good fend by Sigsworth. There's a try. Right in front of the MA Noble, the Bradman stand people. Sigsworth having a good game tonight. But in fact, we're uh, three quarters of the way through. Webster, jumper number 26, formerly with the Balmain Club. Bilberger. And Lamb goes away with it. Making a big run inside the 32 and the 22. Brett Clark comes at him. He runs away from him. And Terry Lamb goes in to score his own try. Well, the way Bill Bidu was carrying the football, or the way he was hanging on to the football, there was every chance that Canterbury were going to take it off him. And that's exactly what Terry Lamb did. He goes up. Dunn gets under him with Terry Lamb. The ball is just sitting up there like an ice cream on a cone. And Terry Lamb takes it off him and then runs the best part of 50 metres. Brett Clark tried to run him down, but Lamb is away and running. Good performance tonight by Lamb. And he's got this one too. So he's certainly on line with his goal kicking as well. 38 points to four in favour of the Bulldogs. Here's Schubert now taking it out to the 22. Getting a one-hander off in desperation to Brett Clark. And a lot of the things West have had to do tonight have been out of desperation, more than, more than frustration, probably. This is done. And Canterbury coming up with the ball on the turnover <clears throat> on the West 22. So a, a, great, a great opportunity for them to extend the scoreline even further as Gillespie gets it off to Terry Lamb. He's inside the 10. Steve Mortimer backs him up. And Steve Mortimer goes in to score another Canterbury try. Lee Crooks kicks off. Big kick down to Farrah. O'Brien comes away. I suppose the interest now for, for Canterbury Bankstown supporters is to see if they can get past the 52 points that were that were posted, posted yesterday by Manly, and that's not beyond them the way they're playing. Chris Mortimer. Steve Mortimer and now Kelly. Little short ball away, and look at Gillespie go. 
over the halfway, finds support in Sigsworth and Langmack. Langmack runs out of extras. No, he doesn't. He finds Dunn. Back it goes for Langmack. Langmack looking for support to try and keep it alive. 30 metres up. Centre of the ground. Big run by Gillespie. Terry Lamb. Long ball. Folks, short pass. Farrah. Down the line goes Peter Mortimer. Tackle by Schubert. Not in the touch. Good piece of work there by Peter Mortimer. Kelly. Kelly, five metres out from the line. That's where they've won the game, Canterbury. That hard work up the middle. Kelly's getting up to play it. Five metres out. Steve Mortimer, grab a kick. Oh, and a oh, beautiful bounce for Langmack. It hit a Western Suburbs player, Alan Feller. Came off his chest, landed on its point and bounced into the chest of Paul Langmack. Fancy copping this mob playing like they are tonight. Canterbury... Leading by 48 to 4 now. Fox tackle just outside the 22. Change for Canterbury, Graham. They're about to rest uh, their state second rower, a guy that certainly deserves one, Steve Phopes, after his heavy commitments the last month or so. And uh, the man that will be going on will be David Boyd in 22. Lee Crooks just took a nasty knock as he went in to make... Uh, well, he was looking for the ball, but he was tackled without it. And Lee is still down injured. He's in a bit of, in a bit of pain out there. You should have seen the next tackle with Canterbury put on, on, on Webster. He brought the ball up and he was hit like a sledgehammer by Folks and by Gillespie. These fellows have not relaxed their defence one bit since the opening minutes of the match. Look at these tackles. Two and three in every one of them. Kelly and Dunn making the tackle on Johnny Bilberger. Fox. That's another good bomb by Fox. Spot on, that one. Sigsworth. You know, Lamb's scored all the points, I suppose, and you've talked about how the the big forwards have taken it up and kept that roll on, but by Jeff, I reckon Sigsworth's had a big game here tonight. Billy Johnston. About eight metres out from the line. Canterbury's still unable to crack the half century. Can they do it here? Steve Mortimer's grub a kick. It came off the hands of Petherbridge. That's a try. Yes, that's a try to O'Brien. No question about it. And unfortunately for the Magpies, they, they caught the Bulldogs on precisely the wrong night. 54 points to four. And have a look at it there. Folks, Johnston, Peter Mortimer, Sigsworth, Lamb, Steve Mortimer and Langmack the tries. Steve O'Brien scored two tries. He was the only one to cross for more than one. Lamb kicked nine goals.